Hello again, uh, I'm Bob Weir with the Cross Timbers Gazette and uh, I'm, I have a guest here today who everybody probably already knows is running for the chairmanship of the Denton Republican uh, Party and her name is Lisa Hendrickson. So uh, what you don't know about Lisa is that um, she was uh, recently arrested. <laughs> she was arrested about uh, almost a year ago and uh, she, uh, she took a situation that was a negative one and she turned it around and was uh, actually responsible for legislation that made uh, Texas uh, permit gun holders uh, in a better position that this would not happen to them and I'll let her tell you about it please Lisa let, let us know what, what exactly happened how were you arrested oh yes something I never thought I'd say uh, on February 24th 2015 my son and I Joshua were heading to CPAC in DC and uh, I had a purse that was made after getting a CHL and going to the classes. I had a purse that I purchased that actually held my weapon uh, that I uh, make sure you don't accidentally shoot anybody. So I never saw it in my purse on purpose. And so anyway, we head to the airport, put it on the belt, and you go through, and everything's normal until they shut things down and the police start showing up. And at that point, someone says that they found a gun, and then horror sets in because I realize it's me. The officers were absolutely amazing through the entire process, but the tune that I continued to hear while being processed, which is by the way code for being arrested, uh, that it happens all the time, happens all the time, happens all the time. And begin to, they begin to share with me that it happens three to four times on average at just DFW alone. And it's increasing because as CHL holders increase, so are the arrests. And one of the officers said, CHL holders, you just forget that you're carrying because it becomes like breathing. Mm -hmm. So as I was uh, being booked and uh, processed, it, again, the two nice ladies at the jail uh, said this happens all the time. So I spent the night in jail because it was late in the afternoon and the judge had already gone home. 19 plus hours in jail, something, uh, something that's incredibly frightening because your freedom has just been taken and everything runs through your head. So through that process, bonding out of jail the next morning, the uh, bond, uh, those gentlemen share with me, yes, we, we, you know, happens all the time, we wish we could let you return it to your car. And I said, well, why can't you? And he said, well, that's, that's the law. And I said, well, the law needs to change. And he said, well, good luck with that. And so uh, we rebooked our tickets, finished our travel, and when we returned, I made a phone call to Senator Nelson's office, and they were absolutely amazing immediately met with me and through that uh, they began immediately looking at legislation and how we could help uh, the citizens of Texas make sure this doesn't happen anymore. Within a few days received a phone call from their Austin office saying oh my gosh you're right this happens all the time however there's a bill on the floor in the state house that we think addresses exactly this. We're going to do a little bit more research and if this is this can help all of Texas we will actually, Senator Nelson will pick it up, bring it to the Senate, and we'll get it passed. So at that moment, I'm extremely excited because to make the difference for every single other person in the state of Texas, the gentleman across from me that night was actually TSA approved and was also arrested. And uh, I received a phone call from Alice Tripp with the Texas Rifle Association, and she shared, Lisa, I know you're going through a lot of hard times right now uh, because it's also a fine with TSA, zero to $10,000 and said, but we want you to know that we've been trying to get legislation passed for years and we think we finally have a shot because you raised your voice and Senator Nelson is your senator and she is one of the most powerful senators in Texas and if she picks it up, we actually think we have a shot. And she said, please stay um, connected with them because they do have a lot on their plate. I said, oh yes ma'am, I will. And Senator Nelson again uh, stayed on it, did exactly what she said and they got legislate, brought it to the Senate floor. House Bill 554, I believe, came Senate Bill 554. They had the bill passed. Governor Abbott signed it, and it went into law as of September 1st of last year. And because of this, you will be allowed to return it to your car. And uh, oh, my case was dismissed, which was a really a beautiful thing to hear. Case dismissed. I'll bet. Well, that's a harrowing experience. But you you took a lemon and made lemonade out of it. So. Uh, I think uh, it's, it would be pretty obvious that 
you wouldn't have your pistol in your purse and have it go through the screen unless, <laughs> unless it was an accident, unless it was inadvertent. Well, it was so. funny too, the judge, when I was um, uh, getting out of jail, shared with me, he said, uh, this was obvious that this was unintentional. And I'm thinking in my head, well, of course it's unintentional because you don't really, you don't think about the bad guys that are actually doing this. And he said, because you didn't have it wrapped in aluminum foil. And I'm thinking, note to self, okay, bad guys wrap guns in aluminum foil. Is that how it works? I guess, yeah. it was It was a newsflash to me. It was just more exciting to actually be a part of something that would make a difference for people that may never know. Yeah. And uh, Eagle Gun Range was great to chat with too because they hear a lot of people that that happens to. So actually Eagle Gun Range was helped me uh, take a safety class in regards to guns to make sure that we can help people remember those things. So that was legislation that uh, they were also thrilled to have well, come about. Well, that's really uh, astound astounding in a way. I mean, you uh, you didn't just sit by and let that happen and forget about it uh, and all the other people that you found out are going through this regularly. Mm -hmm. You actually did something about it. Now, th this is really important, the fact that a lot of people would have gone through that and said, oh, how terrible it is, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just going to let it go. But you didn't let it go. You went out and you actually worked at it, and, and thank God for someone like Senator Nelson. She's truly a great leader in, uh, for the state, and uh, actually had legislation passed for it. That's amazing. I, well, I really credit you with that. I think that's something to respect. <sighs> thank you um, for that. It was, it was a frightening experience, yet it was also something that I, it occurred to me afterwards, because I had friends that would say, Lisa, I would have never thought, I would have never thought to call my rep or my senator. And it was a, that was probably just as frustrating to me because these people work for you. That's what they're there for. And, and that's, that's part of, I think, educating the public on let's get right. back to the Right, a lot of basics. people would just give up. Yep. They just figure, ah, oh, what's the use? So you can't fight, you can't, can't fight, fight City Hall. City Hall <laughs> and you know, let it go. So anyway, I, I, I think, uh, you deserve a lot of respect for doing that, uh, and you've helped a lot of people in in the state who might have gone through the same yeah. uh, Howard experience as you did. So uh, thank you for being here and telling oh, us that. Thank you so Lisa. much. I appreciate, I appreciate you. it. Thank you. Thank you, and thank you for watching.